can be flagre. Man under dangerous supervolcano could be a sign of a major eruption. One of the world's most dangerous supervolcanoes appears to be accumulating magma as it transitions to a pre-eruptive state, according to a study. Scientists aren't saying a major eruption is imminent, but they do say that current conditions at Campi Flegre suggest an eruption could occur at an unspecified point in the future. Campi Flegre is one of the world's few active supervolcanoes. It's located in southern Italy, about 9 miles west of Naples, which is home to about 1.5 million people. The last time the volcano erupted was in 1538, a relatively minor event known as the Monte Nuovo eruption. But 40,000 years ago, the volcano produced a super-colossal eruption, just a notch below the mega-colossal eruptions recorded at Yellowstone. Over the past 60 years, the volcanic region, which consists of 24 craters and edifices, has shown signs of unrest, and scientists have been studying and monitoring it closely to better understand the changes taking place. In a study published in Science Advances, a team of researchers led by Francesca Forni, of ED Zurich in Switzerland, examined rock, mineral, and glass samples taken from 23 eruptions at Campi Flegre, including the two largest in the past 60,000 years. By analyzing the elements in these samples, the researchers were able to piece together a picture of what happened before and after the eruptions. Their findings appeared to suggest that magma is building up beneath the volcanic system, and entering a new caldera cycle. This could indicate that the volcano is moving into a new phase that will result in a major eruption at the site, the team says. The study does not suggest that an eruption is imminent. Analysis of the elements suggests that there were critical changes in the temperature and water content of the magma at specific points in Campi Flegre's eruptive history. The minerals in the magma were found to have decreased over time, while the water content increased. They found that this occurred before the Monte Nuovo eruption. The team notes that after the Monte Nuovo eruption, Campi Flegre entered a new phase of inactivity. Since the 1950s, there have been three periods of major unrest, raising concerns that the volcano is reawakening. The movement of magma from depths of about 5 miles to 1.8 miles has previously been blamed for these unrests. The new findings suggest this is consistent with the presence of water-saturated magma in the upper crust, allowing for the formation of a large magma reservoir. We propose that the subvolcanic plumbing system at Campi Flegre is currently entering a new phase of formation, which could potentially culminate, at some unspecified point in the future, in a large volume eruption, they conclude. Luca de Siena, from the University of Aberdeen in the UK, who has previously published research on the Campi Flegre system, commented on the findings. In Campi Flegre, the unanswered question is why we can't see the volcanic plumbing system below 4 to 5 kilometers. 2.5 to 3 miles depth, as in the Yellowstone caldera, for example, he told Newsweek. Suggesting that a large, highly evolved, relatively cool magma layer may be absorbing most of the energy we send to reconstruct the deeper structure. This problem is common in sub-basaltic and oceanic environments, where deeper reservoirs are invisible to seismic imaging. Their findings open up the possibility of modeling the effect of this magmatic layer on the monitoring record, making it possible to reconstruct its shape and dimensions and ultimately see beneath it. Volcanologist Christopher Kilburn, from UCL in the UK, who was also not involved in the study, said the results were consistent with observed changes that have occurred during previous eruptions, 
It thus provides an alternative interpretation that should be tested against conventional ideas. If an eruption occurs, the best estimate is that it will be similar in size and behavior to eruptions that have occurred over the last 15,000 years or so. Thus, its size will range from the most recent eruption, Monte Nuovo, 1538, 0.02 cubic km, to an eruption similar to the Vesuvius eruption that destroyed Pompeii and Herculaneum, about 1 cubic km. These scenarios are used to prepare mitigation plans.